So once I've hit my double leg and I'm here, I don't want to just drive up in and walk to his guard, which you'll see people doing a lot. And they're like, okay, cool, I'm good. And let me set up the guard pass. We got to do all this extra work because I gave him the guard. Right? I never just want to concede that position. I want to battle here and try to pass. So we hit this double leg. The most important thing to me is to get his legs together. So I'm literally just going to wrap his legs and try to keep his knees touching all the time. If I get him here where I have his legs touching together and then I take my shoulder, the same place it impacted on his belt, put pressure on his hips, I come up and get pressure on his hips. Cole cannot stand up or put me in the guard. Until he moves me from this position, there is no way for him to guard me or get up. Everybody agree with that? Okay. And once we get to here, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to take what he gives me. He really has two options. He either turns away from me or turns into me. So for the purpose of the first demonstration, Cole's going to turn into me. He's going to try to shrimp out just like he did right there. Okay, that's, the, that's the reaction you're going to get. I keep pressure on his hips so that he can't move very well. All right, I'm going to use my right arm right now to really maintain. So this arm becomes important to hold on to in case I need to use this to help me scoop. Okay, my top leg is going to scoop his legs. So I use my heel. It's going to go right here, scoop his legs, and end up on the top of my other leg. Okay. So I come up, you got to be high enough on his hips that you can do this. Leg comes up and scoops. The top of my foot ends up on my other leg. Right? I want it to be figure forward, and then this leg will come on top and grip. So now, what's happening? This leg is trapping the others, holding them together. I still have pressure on his hips. And then my right leg's job is to keep him from kicking, which helps him escape. Okay, so it's very hard for him to move now. Right? Once we get this position secured, I can bring my base out wide so I have a lot more stability. And I can sit up and I can do whatever I want. I can start attacking. This is just a way to control. Do I have to sit up? No, I can stay down here low on him and just hold him down and keep a good base for him not to be able to butt me off. So this is what I call the Khabib because Khabib does this very good at. It. It's really called a leg mount. <laughs> so we're here. Priority one, keep the legs wrapped together. Get some pressure on his hips so he can't get up. He'll turn into me. Oop. Leg comes up, scoops the legs, and comes on top of my other leg. Sometimes I can't make the connection very well. I'm too low. I'm on the calves. Nothing wrong with that. My legs stay in the X. There's no way I'm getting the second part, so I put weight on them. And then I can stay down low, put weight backwards, and get my base out. Now, when I get this lower grip, it's not going to be as well when he starts kicking and tries to get his legs free, but right? it takes him a little while, but eventually they'll come out. But it gives me control for a period of time. Right? One more time. Okay, so we're here. We shot the double leg, right? In the process of going to the ground, I'm thinking about get those legs together. Keep them together. Just get nice, heavy on the hips. Wait for him to react. He's going to try to shrimp away. Boom. Leg comes up, scoops. Ends up on the top of my other foot, preferably in the figure four. And then I check and see if I can make this connection. If I can, great. If I can't, no big deal. Hands come out, get my base, and then we fight from there. I haven't controlled for a long time. Have we solved with that?